okay so i have placed all the pattern papers inside i'll just show you this is how we open it up and we have all the places covered with the pattern papers okay so and this is the back side okay so now we're gonna cover the lid just keep keep it aside and for the lid you're gonna need two pieces of four one fourth by six and a half and I have already pre-cut them so I'm gonna stick you can also layer it up if you have more of pattern papers it will look really nice uh, but because I don't have much of the paper left in this collection uh, so I am not going to layer them. If you want to layer it up, so you will have to cut the second paper 1 8 inch on all four sides less than your base. Okay. So. And I had this one and it's very short from what I need so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna paste it and make a border of the uh, leftover scraps which I have you can also do that and it's a great way to save your paper and it will also make it a design so that's a win-win I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do it always remember like uh, for the lid if you have to decorate it you need a pattern paper that is more simple so that whatever design you make whatever decorations you do on the top it will pop out and if you're gonna like use any paper like this one this one or any other striped or pattern so I, in my opinion it you like plain papers look very nice whatever decoration you do on top that's gonna really pop up okay so I'll do the decoration later uh, first we'll uh, need four strips of paper to decorate this one so you'll need uh, two strips that measure 5 8 of an inch by 4 1 4 and the other two are five eighth of an inch by six and a half okay so i'm gonna space these two Just align it in the center so that you have one eighth of an border showing from all sides. This one I've put it a little bit shorter so that I can line it up with this paper. You see, this will look really nice if you do that. Okay, so let's move on to the other side. I'm going to do it fast. I don't think you need to paste anything over here, but if you do want, you can do that. Okay. 
so yep this is it so I also had to place the pattern paper on the back of the box because I accidentally um, wrote some measurements over here so I've have I've had this paper I'm gonna paste it it's not necessary for you guys because uh, the craft card so cardstock in itself is really matching up with these papers and uh, it's looking nice as it is Okay, so one more thing do not paste anything over this one because when you close the lid of your box it might get stuck so like those might be a hindrance so just leave it like that okay so now we're gonna tie the knot and you have plenty of room for pictures and then we're gonna just close the lid of the box. I think I'm gonna need to make it a little bit more tighter as uh, it is coming out actually. this gonna do the trick yep. okay and if by any chance after like if you make four flaps or more than that and it's coming uh, like out and the lid is not closing properly what you can do is make another closure for this with the ribbon like you can use uh, more ribbon and you can make another closure for your box Okay, that's also gonna look really nice it's gonna be symmetrical I hope you guys like this oh yeah one more thing so we were gonna have placed strips of paper around this one so I'm gonna cut more strips and I'll be back okay so I have put four strips inside to save my paper and it also really looks really pretty it it's like a frame and you can also put one picture here okay so as in like my box was not closing completely so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a closure for this one okay so we'll take the ribbon and measure it around 12, 24 and 30 30 inches okay and I'm gonna go around the box to make a closure for this one okay and you can also wrap it up like uh, like we wrap on a gift box like all the from all the four sides and you can give it as it is just write a Merry Christmas over here or you can decorate it more further uh, however you want okay so I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial if you have any questions feel free to drop in the comments and I'll be happy to answer all your queries and if you want to see the end result the when I decorate it afterwards uh, I'll be happy to show you that also uh, if you like my tutorial, please give me a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel and I'll be more I'll be back with more upcoming tutorials and um, Yeah, thanks for watching and Merry Christmas. Bye